Hank Vogels. Mm. We, uh, as as you mentioned, Adam, we did a, a thorough in-depth review and critique of the entire SBS team, uh, only for me to receive a message that evening from Mr. Vogels from himself Hank. being horrified that we'd left him out. Uh, and look, at this late stage, I think it would be unfair to review his performance. Suffice to say that he did find one of his old bikes, which was impressive, although the, the prick wouldn't give it back. Now we're here at the Tour de France cobble stage in the 2015 Tour de France. We're doing some reconnaissance. I've run into a guy who's found this bike, this Eddie Merckx bike that I raced in 1998. Um, you know, I, I feel your pain, buddy. I feel your pain. Um, but also, I would like to shout out to, to Hank because, you know, he's so well loved by the Australian public. Probably one of the toughest cyclists ever to have ridden a bike, but also to not have won a Roubaix. But he's recently just gone through some very sensitive surgery, which he's been quite public about on Facebook. And uh, we're going to encourage her with her recovery from, from now on. So, uh, Hank, we hope that all goes well. And uh, look, here's to getting the pronouns all correct. What's Hank's new name? Oh, no, I think she's sticking with Hank. She's sticking with mm, Hank. Yeah. Now, what I the surgery went well. The surgery went She's recovering well. What I well. can't believe, mm. you mentioned that Hank is a very tough guy. Oh, tough like, as they come. How does he send a text without just pushing, just destroying the screen? Oh, no, he has Maybe. people send texts for him because he would just crush Yeah, he'd just yeah, crush yeah. the screen. Mm. And what I was surprised, what, what I was surprised when Hank wanted his bike back, I, w- I thought Hank would have just walked up and thumped a bloke. Oh, no, that guy's just dead now. <laughs> no, yeah. he's dead. He got his just, bike back. Just Don't smashed worry. him. T- totally. I mean, t- she totally got her bike back. T- yeah. <laughs> As I said, the- congratulations on the on the surgery, Hank, and we hope this the, your new life turns out fantastic. Phil, yeah. how did you see Hank's performance during the Tour de France? Uh, you got me all curious now. Uh, look, I'm sure it went well. As I said, I didn't see anything. So. Well, that's how it starts out. Curiosity. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, I really enjoyed Hank's commentary. I remember mm. watching... And I wish I could find this. I'm sure Hank will remember. Back in the day, Commonwealth Bank Cycling Classic, mm. a documentary. We have to find it. It was like an hour-long documentary. Yeah, I'm eighth and Hank's is tenth. Um, we're still up there. Um, if we uh, get through today, we should be all right. Yeah. With Hank and Robbie and... Save us recording the next episode if we could just air that. Hank got injured. He actually, he was riding in a race, got run over by a bus. That's kind lost, of what he was best at. Lost both legs. Still, oh, that's, yes. still finished the race. Still finished. Yeah. Legless. Mm, yeah, legless. Just sort of put his guts, yeah. which is, which is mm. significant now, yeah, put yeah. his guts on the bike mm. and just with his Oh, no, he's tough as they come. I mean, he scoffed at Phil's broken sternum. Mm. <laughs> yeah, Hank used to break his stern at the start of the race just to just, warm up, just like yeah, the, like Mel Gibson in Lethal Weapon. Just, yeah, 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 exactly. Just yeah. smash it and then off he'd go. But as we say, Hank, congratulations on the surgery. The courage to come out and be op- open and honest about it mm. is inspiring, and we wish you well. Yes. We're behind you, Hank Jenner. Mm. Did I just say that? You did. Ooh. love you, Hank. Mwah.